example four, and this is the first of two inequality e rational equations. And on this page, uh, take a look at the rational expression. The denominator expression is x plus three, so negative three makes that denominator zero, and so that's a restriction of, for this rational function. So we'll take a look at two cases here, where, when x is greater than negative three, and when x is less than negative three. So on either side of that vertical asymptote at negative three. Now, if x is greater than negative three, and uh, similar to the equations, I'm gonna multiply both sides by x plus three so that these x plus threes divide out. Now, if x is greater than negative three, a number greater than negative three, like even like negative one, negative one is greater than negative three. If I substitute negative one in place of x in this x plus three that divided out, or on this side here, then this function, this x plus three expression, has a positive value. Any number greater than negative three, x plus three is positive. So I'm multiplying both sides by a positive quantity, and so the inequality does not change direction. It does change direction when you multiply by negative or divide by negative. So I have x minus three on the left would be less than or equal to, and expanding five times x plus three, I get five x plus 15. So rearranging, I would subtract five x from both sides, so x minus 5x is negative 4x, and I would add 3 to both sides. 15 plus 3 is 18. Now I'm going to divide out the negative 4 so that I solve for x here. And dividing by a negative, remember the inequality changes direction. So 18 over negative 4 reduces to uh, negative 9 halves. So x is greater than or equal to negative 9 halves. So notice again, when I divide by negative 4, my inequality changed direction. That's true whenever you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative. Now, you have to examine and compare this to the case. Okay, so if we take a look at the number line below, now this says x is greater than or equal to negative, well, negative 4.5, negative 4 halves. So negative 4 halves, negative 4 and a half, sorry, would be about here. And so greater than or equal to, we're talking about everything to the right of that. The case says x is greater than negative 3. So greater than negative 3 would actually be, there's negative 3 and to the right of it. So the solution is where do those two cases overlap? And where they overlap is right there, greater than negative three. So that's my solution, x is greater than negative three. Now, for the next one, again, we're gonna multiply, and now this the second case is x is less than negative three. We're gonna multiply by x plus three again, both sides, but if x is less than negative three, this is actually has a negative value. And so after the x plus three is divide out, uh, multiplying by the x plus three, the negative x plus three here, um, the inequality changes direction. So we'd have x minus three on the left is greater than or equal to five x plus 15. This is still five x plus 15. The algebra is the same here. Uh, the expressions are the same on both sides. I can now subtract 5x from both sides and add 3 to both sides, the 18 here. So same expressions as over here, but notice the inequality is the opposite direction. So dividing out the negative 4 and reducing, I now get x is less than negative 9 halves. And if we look at our number line here, now x is less than negative 9 halves, or negative 4.5. So negative 4.5 is right here, and less than, of course, means to the left of that. And if we compare that to the case, x is less than negative three. Now, where those two overlap is this interval less than or equal to negative 4.5. So, the solution here actually is x is greater than negative three, and x is less than negative four half, negative four and a half. Now I, I made a graph down here, so this is a graphical example to show you why this is the solution as well. And so I graphed y equals x minus three over x plus three. Vertical asymptote at negative three, and that's why we had our two cases here. So you can examine to the left of negative three and to the right of negative three. And I also drew the line y equals five, because we're talking about where this function is uh, less than or equal to five. So notice right here, it's actually equal to five. If you go to the left of negative three, it's below five. And so that's what that solution right there means. X is less than negative nine halves. X is less than negative 
And the vertical asymptote is at negative 3 here. To the right of negative 3, actually it always stays below 1. There's actually a horizontal asymptote of 1 because 1x divided by 1x is 1. So it's certainly always below 5 to the right here. So there's the part uh, greater than negative 3 that it's always going to be less than 5 as well. So that's a graphical illustration of what the solution is.